Okay. Um, this is hopefully to help my students out with a little speech unit that they're working on. Right now, the requirements of this speech unit is a, it has to be a two minute informative speech. We've allowed the students to pick their subject for the first time. Normally we assign the subject. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate a speech. First of all, I'm gonna start by showing how much information I have on this sheet of paper. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but roughly three quarters of a sheet of paper. Now, again, I've been saying that you really need to take a lot of notes. You need to know your subject. I suggest getting five pages of notes and then whittling that down, organizing, start to putting it in a format until you get down to as little as that. I think that is going to meet the time requirements. Anyway, um, this speech is dated. I wrote this speech, I want to say, four years ago, maybe five years ago when I first taught this. So. Um, with all due respect to Mr. Ozzy Osbourne, the dates have come and gone. But anyway, uh, here we go. Here is a speech. I'd like you all to time me. Do I meet the time requirements? Ozzy Osbourne snorted ants. Ozzy Osbourne bit the head off of a bat and he received a regiment of 21 inoculations in his stomach to combat rabies from that bat. Ozzy Osbourne was put on trial because it was believed the lyrics to one of his songs caused somebody to commit suicide. How do we know all this? Because these events have been recorded in newspapers, on television, in VH1 biographies and on the internet at various YouTube sites. Ask Mr. Osborne if he can recall any of these events. What do you think he'd say? What do you think he'd say? Ozzy Osbourne gained fame and fortune as the lead singer of Black Sabbath who, along with Led Zeppelin, are considered the true founders of heavy metal music. Ozzy threw all of his money away because of his various drug de dependencies. Ultimately, he left Black Sabbath because of his problems. He gained fame away from Black Sabbath, and it was during this time that he ate the bat and snorted the ants. Why, according to legend, did he do these things? because he was wasted. And hey, it makes for a good story. He accumulated more fame and fortune through Black Sabbath reunion tours and a little MTV show called The Osbournes. And he continued to take drugs and drink. Recently, he was asked to write an autobiography People are fascinated by his life. He was given $2 million in advance of the book being written and published. The deadline has come and gone. There's a small problem. Ozzy Osbourne can't remember the events of his life. The bat, the ants, the trial, he can't remember one of them. My memory isn't what it used to be because of the drugs and alcohol I've been living on for the best part of my adult life. I often get asked, is it true you snorted a line of ants? Knowing me, there's a very good possibility. But do I remember it? No way, says Mr. Osborne. I guess the point of the story is, is go ahead, live it up. But one day, no matter who you are, one day you'll have to pay. No matter who you are. All right. So, what was my time like? Did I meet the two minute requirement? Did I have an opening? Did I have a body? Did I have a message? You tell me.
Hopefully it's helpful.